The Menzies Health Institute Queensland has just celebrated its first birthday. The focus of our research is on translation. That is research that improves the health and well-being of our population. The Menzies Health Institute Queensland is the fourth health and medical research institute that formed as a partnership with the Menzies Foundation. And it's the first Menzies Institute in Queensland. It's uh, fantastic to be able to celebrate the first uh, anniversary of the Menzies Health Institute Queensland. I can't believe it's just a year since uh, the, the initial launch and the amount of activity that's been, that has occurred over the past year. Uh, we've noticed significant increases in the, in the research outputs uh, of the Institute in this short period of time with increased uh, income from research grants, increased research publications and uh, increased numbers of PhD students. But I think one of the most rewarding um, uh, metrics is the increase in philanthropic donations to the Institute. And I think that's a success of the branding around the Menzies Foundation, the Menzies name. Knee injuries are extremely common, not just for elite athletes, but for everyone who plays sport. Surgery and rehabilitation after knee injuries is very costly. David Lloyd and his team have been analysing how and why these injuries occur. David's team have developed programs that prevent these injuries for both elite athletes and everyone who plays sport. These programs have the potential to save the healthcare system more than $30 million each year. One in five Australians has gum disease causing pain and discomfort. Sasso Ivanovsky is using the latest 3D bioprinting technology to produce new engineered bone and gum tissue. The parts are individually designed using a patient's CT scan and then implanted into the jawbone. These 3D parts are much less invasive methods for replacing bone. They have lower complication rates, the procedure is much cheaper and less painful. About 2 billion intravenous devices are used globally every year. These devices deliver antibiotics, chemotherapy, blood transfusions and anaesthesia. But up to half of these catheters develop problems. Claire Rickard's group has developed more effective ways of inserting and maintaining these devices. The team's research has reduced complication rates, lessened the risks of infection and reduced cost. This has prevented millions of unnecessary procedures around the world. In Australia there are 6 million osteoporosis sufferers. Every three minutes one of them gets a fracture. The total cost of managing osteoporosis and the associated fractures is around $3 billion a year. Belinda Beck's groundbreaking research challenged the conventional wisdom that high intensity weight training was damaging. Belinda's team found that weight training strengthened brittle bones and improved muscles. And importantly, the participants recorded fewer falls. Despite enormous advances, 30% of cancer patients die within five years of treatment. Every cancer is different. Targeting the right combination of drug therapies as soon as possible is vital. Nigel McMillan's research personalises treatment for cancer patients. Cancerous tissue is removed and a variety of drug therapies are tested in the laboratory. Within a few weeks, the most effective treatment can be identified, delivered to the patient, saving time and money and avoiding unnecessary side effects. Dementia is the single greatest risk for older Australians. Wendy Moyle's innovative work uses interactive technology to improve quality of life for people with dementia. Wendy's team has developed social robots that engage with older people, improving their social and verbal interaction. Other robots can connect patients to families wherever they're living in the world. This increases interaction and reduces concerns about how the family member is coping. Allied Health Research and Practice drives excellence in healthcare. And at the Menzies Health Institute of Queensland, we have a specific focus on Allied Health. 
Now, the allied health professions are a broad and diverse interdisciplinary group. They include physiotherapy, dietetics, speech therapy, occupational therapy, sports medicine, psychology, social work, rehabilitation counsellors. It's a broad and diverse group, but you will find every day across these disciplines, allied health professionals making a difference in the management of acute and chronic illness and in optimising well-being in our community. Health research at Griffith has reached a stage where we need to make some critical waypoint decisions about what we want to be good at and what we should be good at. The thematic coherence that the Menzies Health Institute Queensland brings to that process prepares us fantastically well for the next stage of our research development.